is me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I'm here today with an updated office tour. I think I did one of these about a year ago, and not too much has changed in the way I organize, but last time I filmed in vertical, and that's like a YouTube sin. So I'm gonna refilm. I'm filming with just handheld phone, so hopefully it's not too shaky. I'm gonna go around the room, show you what we're working with, and yeah, hope you enjoy. So, while we're standing in the corner, I'm just going to say I share this office slash craft space with my husband. I'm kind of going to ignore his side because I didn't clean it up as much as I should have. And my side's not perfect either, but this is real life and what it's like on a day-to-day -day basis. So I just wanted to get this video out. As you can see, the window's open and I'm sure you're going to see my reflection and I'm going to regret that in a minute. But that's all right. So here's basically my view. His side's that way. His desk is... Oh, I have to get used to pointing in front. His desk is right here. He has a closet that we're not gonna look at and he has a bookshelf over there. And then I have a closet over here, my desk and all my other goodies over everywhere. So let's just go through the room. If you wanna see anything in more detail, let me know. I'll be happy to film again. There I am already. Um, yeah, also, while I'm still in the corner out of sight, if you're new to my channel, I would say I am a paper crafter First and foremost, I do adult coloring, I do scrapbooking, and I do planning. I'm also a big reader, so I really just love paper overall. And I dabble in lots of other crafts, which again, you will see as we go around. So, all right. Hi guys again. Okay, so I guess we'll start with my desk view. Um, most of my furniture, like lots of crafters, is from Ikea. So I got this desk from there and the legs. Also, all oh my wires, we'll pretend that's not there either. Um, yeah, on my desk, I have two computers. One I use to do swag bucks, which is like a um, survey website that they pay you to take surveys and stuff like that. So I keep that up and running. And I'll, I'll link below in case anyone wants to sign up for that or wants more information. But I do that all year round and make all the money to buy Christmas presents through that so that's fun and then my other computer I watched YouTube on and whatever other computer needs I have um, this is my crop bag for scrapbooking and I'm preparing for a crop usually it's in the closet so I'll show you where it normally goes but it's out for now because I've been using it recently um, if anyone wants a video on this and how I pack for crops let me know because that could be fun I did one of those videos probably five years ago so that's probably updated. Underneath I have a ottoman to stick my feet on. So, and then I have on my desk these cute little coasters of my pupper. Uh oh, there's glare. Last time I did this video, I did not have ceiling lights. That was the only light in our whole room. But now I have wonderful built-in ceiling lights. So there's me and Sam, my other computer. I'm almost done scrapbooking my wedding. So that's what's out here. If anyone wants to flip through with this, let me know. Uh, my iPad, I listen to ebooks. See how dusty everything is? Ugh. On my desk, I have my printer, which is a Canon selfie, and I love that thing. For the most part, I print from Walgreens or CVS, but if I ever need just one or two pictures, it's really useful to have that. I have a spinning caddy with stuff I use. I have a washi organizer. I got this one from Joanne. And honestly, I would not recommend this one because it doesn't fit big rolls. As you can see, it got stuck because some of the taller rolls make it get stuck. So don't know if I'd recommend that. I probably would have gotten one from Michael's if I had known that in advance. I found this little cute guy at the mall and I just needed that. I have a turtle ring holder for when I take my rings off, my Roku remote, and this hand, which my friend got me in a Secret Santa swap. And that's where I put like my favorite favorite thing so every month for my bullet journal i pick two colors of pen and one highlighter and my ruler obviously you can see all that stuff i'm gonna zoom back out i'm hoping i'm not shaking all over because it's really hard to not so <clears throat> this is like my little epicenter wall um i got these metal strips which everything's attached to from the container store and I think they're like 25 inches by two inches and they came with the little magnets and I just stuck everything to them. 
So there's two strips there and everything else is just attached or stuck under. And then that cute map is one of those scratch off maps that you can scratch off the states you've been to. So I have a lot of traveling to do, but there's that. I'm gonna go in my closet, but I think I'll do that last. I don't know, I didn't plan this through. Um, oh, sorry. Next to my desk, I keep my cutting mats. I keep my giant clipboard for if I need to go anywhere and do things. And these are all scraps. So I have bags full of scraps that I keep right there. And instead of sorting them, once the pieces get too small, I throw them out. That is the background that I use in my videos at my desk and that I use to take my Instagram pictures to try to make it look nicer. And we can see the garbage bag sticking out the closet. I usually have it on this side, but for now it's in there. <laughs> yes, okay, that is, I just got that as a gift at my bridal shower and I just shoved that up there. All of these pictures came with it and I didn't switch them out yet, but that's fun and nice. Ooh, and this is fun if you're one of my scrapbooking friends. Let's see, this is my medal from the expo last year. They give out pins for doing different things. And then if you get enough pins, you get a medal. So last year was the first year I got a medal, yeah. Okay, I have two Razcog carts. Here is one of them, there is one of them. I can go into these in more detail if you want in another video, let me know. This cart is planner, scrapbook, reading cart. So this top shelf has books I wanna read next. And then this is a whole bunch of planner stickers, calendar stickers, etc. This shelf is my wedding smash book that I've been working on, um, my bullet journal, my current read, um, my hard drive, and a candle, I don't know. And then the bottom shelf has, actually, these are diamond dots or diamond painting boxes. Some, hmm, what are those called? Matte, matting papers. And these are the stickers that are like tiny letters that I predominantly use for Project Life. So that's what's in there. Again, if you want more details on this, let me know. I can make a whole other video. This unit was from Ikea also. I think it is an Alex drawer system. Um, I don't know if they have specific names, but pretty sure it's just an Alex drawer. I like these, but my problem is they do not unroll all the way, which I'll show you in one second. On top is my sewing machine that Samuel got me for Christmas last year that I just finally sewed on. That is a painting I did at one of those sip and paint places and it fell off the wall so I gotta put it back up there. I have a ot light that I never ever use. I got it on super clearance and it's just a weird shape. So let me go through this guy. Um, I also now see that there's a whole bunch of shadows but it's nighttime so we're, we're doing what we can do. The first three drawers are basically all washi tape. So I, if you can see back here are actually full jars of buttons that I have just put back there so I can keep the washi in the front. So that's my big problem with these drawers is they do not come out all the way. Um, yeah, so this is all my solid colored and solid pattern washi. I know that sounds weird, but this is all my pattern patterns. And again, there's a whole nother roll or row, excuse me, of buttons back there. And this one is overflow. This is basically seasonal and holidays. And then some tubes. These ones I just haven't put in my inventory log yet and just other boxes. Originally, I had all my other types of adhesive in this area but I moved that, which you will see later. So that's what's in those three. Then this next one, this is actually my diamond paintings that I just have folded over. So work in progress and a few ex extras, extras that I haven't started yet. My light pad for diamond painting. And then this is under there. I have 12 by 12 sticker sheets, either letters or um, icon stickers, I guess next drawer so this is a whole bunch of random embellishments that I just shoved in there I don't really know what's going on but if I ever need something random this is where I go this is actually my Christmas stuff that's all together and the final one ooh, this one's heavy is my project life cards or at least a bunch of them I actually have some more so those giant core kits that used to come with like 10 20 of each design 
I split in half and half are in my closet. And a bunch are here. I've kind of gotten out of project life, but I really want to get back into it, if nothing else, because I have all this to get through. So there's that unit. Okay. Then this guy. This guy is from Michael's. It has to be at least five years, if not longer. Um, I accidentally, when I made it, put this piece in upside down so this isn't finished. And it's bothered me for all of the years. But the top of it is where I keep my thickers. There's actually a magazine holder under there somewhere that has them and it fits in there perfectly. And they're in color order. Then the overflow is on top. Or, um, I'm saying I'm a lot. I'm gonna try to stop. The overflow is on top, and that is where I have thickers that I recently brought to my crop that I have to just organize back in. Then I have two other magazine holders, and this one is, one of them is letter stickers, and one of them is like icons and things like that, and then more random stickers just hanging out everywhere. My two drawers, random embellishments and punches, and more random embellishments and stickers, and then the bottom down there. I hit into some, oh, I'll fix that in a second. The bottom down there is some paper pads, which I was just using, so that one's sticking out. But that's where I keep my paper pads that I've been actively using. So, I hit into my other coloring cart. My eraser has hit the ground. Also, right in the middle of the room is my exercise bike. This is normally up against here, and I just move it around, but obviously I needed to get it out of the way. So that's where that goes. <sighs> Eraser. I'll fix you soon, eraser. I'm sorry. Okay, my second Rouse Cog. This is my coloring cart. So this top shelf is in this box that we can't see. I guess we can get closer. I just don't want shadows. These are like my tiny books that just fit nicely. Some slime. I was addicted for a little bit. I kind of calmed down. Prismacolors. And then these are the coloring books that I want to work on this month. Another set of markers. Then the bottom two are all my supplies. So this shelf has my 150 Prismacolors, has um, four, whoop, now it's focusing on my hand, four pencil boxes of different supplies and a whole bunch of markers and stuff. The bottom one has watercolors, pastels, etc. My Cali Art alcohol markers, all in there. So again, if you want a specific view of this guy, let me know. I keep some essentials out here, which is where I just knocked off my pencil sharpener from. Okay, on to this big guy. So, this is the Calyx unit. We're gonna try to go through this nicely. I might just do some pointing because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film and see everything. So, okay, up top. Hopefully, I'm also not covering the microphone. Wouldn't that be terrible? You know what, I'm gonna pause and then add a second clip because I have a microphone that I haven't been using for the first 13 minutes. So be right back. Okie doke, I am back. I took a sip of water and I put my microphone on. So in theory, the sound has gotten better. We will find out when we get to editing. But back to my Calyx system. This has been a popular thing for years. It used to be called something else and now I don't remember. But I have wanted these, like this was on my shopping list before we even got this new house. I knew I would have two of these, one in here and one in my living room, and I do. So I'm gonna go through like row by row. Up on top is my organizer from Michaels, the spinning guy, I don't know. I have extras in there, so I you could see my chalk. There's extra scissors, there's extra pencils, all that good stuff. I have my antique, I guess, typewriter it was actually my aunt's and I found it after she passed away and I was so excited because I have wanted a typewriter for forever and on top of that is actually my first ever beanie baby which is this guy his name is wrinkles and then I bought a new wrinkles like eight years later because I found one and I was like oh my goodness so those are my two wrinkles <laughs> this picture is actually a picture my friend took for me on vacation he is a scuba diver and he knows turtles are my favorite animal, so he took that for me. And I have another turtle like holding it up and a little fake cactus and our Mickey bride and groom ears from our honeymoon. Then this big thing is my grandparents' wedding album. This turtle right now has 
just junk in there. I have to get that down, but it's kind of hard to store a giant turtle. I think it's supposed to be a serving dish and I just, again, found it and needed to keep it because it was a turtle. And then these six things have my acrylic paint. They have pictures. They have pictures from when Sam was younger. It says nail polish, but it is not nail polish. Uh, I gave all the nail polish to my cousin, so they are mislabeled. And that top one is all extra stickers, the one that has no label at all. <clears throat> cube by cube. Okay, this cube, I, the whole top row is decorative, but I'm going to show you anyway because it's fun. So this cube is my two Funko Pops that are not Disney. So, oh, actually there's three, but Lucy keeps falling down. So I have I Love Lucy back there, but I see she fell again. I have Chucky and Chandler Bing from Friends. These are essentially my three favorite TV shows growing up, I guess. So I have one from each of those. I have these stars, our origami stars, and I made them. And it's my goal to one day fill this whole jar. So I'm working on that. Ah! It's so hard to film and look through the camera instead of at real life. So, sorry. Okay, I painted that gnome. This is a Matryoshka doll from Little, what is it? It's not Little Italy because it's, I got it from like Chinatown in Montreal actually. And a whole bunch of my random turtles. I am a turtle collector. There's many more in other rooms, but there's some in here. This next cube in the back is actually framed a softball jersey from, it was my mom's softball jersey. She is no longer with us, so that is framed back there. It kind of slid down in the frame, so I have to fix that, but it's back there. Timmy is from Disneyland. I won him. And Angelica is from Dave and & Buster's. And there's a bunch of just tiny sumsums and trinkets. I also painted Mrs. Potts. And behind the Ufufi, I painted Chip. So there's that. Um, next cube. This is all my sum sums, which I had to stick Baymax in front of, but I got a whole cube of sum sums and another set of ears. And this was a gift for Valentine's Day. His name's Walnut and more sum sums. This is like my photo box. So I have some vintage cameras. Two of the three of these were actually my aunt's and one of them I just found at like a yard sale type place that I got and there's a whole bunch of ticket stubs for years and years so just some fun special stuff in there and then this one I kind of call oh I just kicked my eraser on the floor I should have picked that up while I took a break this one is like my sandbox I call it so these are actually bobbleheads that my cousins made for us as a shower gift and they're really funny so Sam looks just, just like him. And I wish I had my glasses on in mine, but I understand why they did it. But I'm also sad because I definitely am shorter than Sam, but I don't think I'm that much shorter. His base is taller too, so that's just unfair, but yeah. And then in the back, that bear was actually what he got me for our first Valentine's Day 10 years ago. It sings, but I'm not gonna turn that on now. Okay, so the cubes. This one is sewing stuff. So I have my box with like my sewing scissors. I have a whole bunch of fabric. I really can't even show you because I'm too short. There we go. That's what you can get. This one is yarn and yarn type projects. This one is, what's in there? Oh, I hid these from myself so I wouldn't eat them all. And then paint and like sequins, so jars of things. And then this one is felt and other things so like tiny embroidery projects all those kits that are like three dollars i get suckered in every time so that's what it what is in here there's um what are those things called tongue depressors wooden sticks you know what i'm talking about they're in there a whole bunch of random stuff then this one is all my adhesives got a little unorganized but all different types in there okay next row this row is another row we can see. This is all old journals and some unused journals. Not all of them are used, but a whole bunch of them are. This one is other notebooky type things. So there's activity books like jumbles. I really love to do the jumbles and 
just other large notebooks. I have some drawing paper, drawing books, things like that. I made this in eighth grade. No, seventh grade. I made this in seventh grade. We had a class called Chips. So this is all random wood chips. It's an ant on a sandwich. That's actually, here's another fun one, sorry. If you're into diamond painting, after I'm done, I put all my extra diamonds in this jar. I don't know if I should, but I just didn't have the patience to organize them. And I actually painted this jar like a button. This used to be where I had my buttons before I had that other system. This is all wood veneers. There's a unit back there that I don't know if I'm gonna get you to see. That's all wood veneers. These are all wood veneers. This, again, I made this in high school on the pottery wheel. And that is a bucket of paint brushes. And then I have a cup that I keep in there for uh, water when I'm painting. Okay, this one, you can see my computer pretty perfectly. Let's see, where's my hand? Block that out. Uh, this unit is a cardboard thing I got from Michaels that has stickers in the bottom, sticky notes in the middle, and coin wrappers on the top. That's actually properly labeled. And this print we got from Disney on our honeymoon. It was just really cute. It's a postcard, but I framed it. Then I have an 800 page notebook right there and two Zyrons that I forget I have and never use because of that. And then I have like this 3D ruler that I just, again, if it's near checkout, I'm going to be tricked into buying it. Okay, this is paper, a whole bunch of my 12 by 12. This is from We Are Memory Keepers, I wanna say, their cube organizer. There's actually two sets in here and they're not really organized within this besides these top two are loose papers. The bottommost one is car solid cardstock and then everything else is collections. I think one of them is all seasonal stuff, but this is a newer piece to my room, so it's not really organized beyond that. And then back to my next row of cubes. So this one is all my six by six paper and stamps. I am not a big stamper, so not too much in there. This one is clay stuff and even more coin wrappers because my other thing was full. So the pastels were for the clay, my clay, and I have a box of, let's see if we can see it, things I've made out of clay. Are you in there? I don't know where it is. But <clears throat> this one is extra coloring stuff, but this is more uh, child friendly, I guess you could say. Before I really knew about adult coloring, I was very into just regular coloring. So it's a lot of Crayola, a lot of just scented markers, fun stuff. This is all full of pens, things like that. This one is where I put my tools. So I have my heat gun, I have extra printer paper. I have the bunting board from We Are Memory Keepers and all my embossing stuff in there. And this one is a random junk drawer. Ooh, I shouldn't have even shown you that much. Next to it, some of that Sam stuff. And then this is one of those containers that holds all the four by six photo sorters. That is, I don't even know what's in there. I'll be honest with you. And then the entire bottom is albums. Basically all of them are full. And yeah, she's still down there. I'll, I'll save you soon. Then this is where little Miss Noodles hangs out. And bothers me while I'm crafting. So back, ooh, that was real fast. Back over to my closet. And I realized I didn't show you in the desk, which, yeah, why not? Okay, the bottom drawer is mists, and then the back of this drawer is, ooh, um, oh, this is really bad lighting over here, I apologize. The back of the drawer is actual office supplies. This next one is planner stickers and my label maker. This one is my cutters. So all my paper cutters and then label paper. And then this is a project that never really got off the ground, but sneak peek, I guess. This one is diamond painting stuff and, and snacks. <laughs> and then the top one is office -y things that I have in a old what is the word for this? What are you? Utensil separator that I got at the dollar store. So that worked out really nicely. And now I've promised to go back in my closet. So here we go. Ta da! All right. On the door is a poster I made of pictures of me and my mama. 
up top is where normally my scrapbook bag goes. It fits up there nicely. Those are all the Project Life boxes that still have cards in them. It's a lot. Candle making supplies. I dabbled in that for a little bit. We'll see if we go back. I still have a bunch of wax left, as you can see, so we'll do it at least a little bit more. There's my clay creations. That's why I couldn't find it. Here are just a bunch of random embellishments I forget exist, but now I'm going to try to pack some for the expo now that I see them. This container is actually my collection of sticker books from when I was a little girl. So that's where the obsession began. Those are fun to go through. And then on these canvas things, I don't know if we're going to get to see it, it's my Disney pin collection. And then some of them are blank, but one day I'll hang them. <laughs> more of these. That one's like CDs. I don't remember. I don't remember. Sam pictures and more of my turtle collection. So <laughs> then I always keep a sweatshirt in here in case I get cold so I don't have to go in the other room, I guess. Those two hanging things are just random stuff I can't even tell you but yeah this closet obviously came with the hanger so I thought that was a pretty efficient use of space this is my monopod that I film my videos on it's a big lanky guy uh, this unit right now doesn't really have anything in it but I've had this since I was a little kid again you can see my writing on there so it rolls out and has a whole bunch of compartments in there so I'm never gonna get rid of it but I also don't know if I'm gonna use it um i have this bookcase in here and behind the bookcase it's hard to reach so that's where i put all the wrapping paper because they stand back there nicely we're not gonna be able to see this is another paper storage unit it actually has file folders in there but it's kind of hard to get to fill them so i just kind of shove paper in there this box is what i've been using with wedding scrapbooking so it's not always just a cardboard box in there it's just in there for right now so it has some kits it has my my first and only sewing project so far. I made some book sleeves. I think I did okay. <laughs> and some other projecty stuff. And then there's a whole bunch of these 12 by 12 containers that you get from Michaels that you should never get unless they're on super sale. But I have like one, possibly two full ones are Christmas papers. I have papers that I don't mind sharing if anyone comes over. I have some of them are actually empty still. I don't even know. I have my craft mat that I always forget exists and haven't used, but it's um, Heidi Swap and it washes off really easy. Then these are my only remaining cubes from Michaels from their 12 by 12 system. They are not as good quality as the Ikea ones, but obviously they're very much made for scrapbooking. So they still, they did great. They did their job. I think they're at least seven, eight years old, so. This top one, I have a dictionary that I bought to do art with. So cut out the pages and do art on. I have all the extra planner sticker, uh, planner stickers, planner covers for the Erin Condren planners. I have my address book. This red album is, what are you? Page protectors for Project Life. The yellow album is my current album that I just put things in. And then I have a whole bunch of extra page protectors for 12 by 12, excuse me. Uh, the bottom is more paper. Pretty sure, again, that whole bottom is quite possibly Christmas paper. I have a thing for Christmas paper, which is always funny because by the I love Christmas so much and I celebrate it basically the day after my birthday in November on. By the time Christmas comes and goes, I never really want to scrapbook it. So I don't know why I keep buying all the paper. But anyway, and then more paper pads more individual sheets and this one is just solid cardstock again okay whew, we're getting there this final bookshelf this bottom area as you can guess this box is christmas supplies and then everything else down here this is actually my perler beads and this is card making stuff i don't really make cards ever i make some for christmas sometimes not every year i don't always manage it but I do sometimes, so that's a, what I use that for. And I have some thank you cards just to have. So then these next three shelves essentially are my coloring books. Obviously I'm a huge adult colorer. Uh, right now I probably only have around 70 coloring books, which 
to some people I'm sure is ridiculous amount but to others is not that bad so yeah this bottom shelf is mostly my Christmas coloring books there's actually some notebooks that are just writing notebooks in here um, and some of these coloring books are kind of on the fence if I'm going to keep them or pass them on to my friends and then this shelf is more coloring books these are definitely keepers and again more Disney notebooks I love these notebooks let's see if I can get this out easily Ugh. I have two but it looks like a VHS so it this is exactly what the VHS cover looked like let's see if I can do this one-handed uh oh I love it so much so I don't know if I'm ever going to use that but I have Goofy Movie and Hercules I missed Little Mermaid and I'm still salty about it but yes so these are all my coloring books and this shelf is the coloring books that don't fit these are my beloved Disney collection of coloring books so all the French ones paint by stickers these are my two colorists and then these are just other giant guys that don't fit this is a bunch of die cut embellishments in more of those four by six containers and that is a caddy that I just got that I'm going to hopefully bring to the crop that is coming. It has my ATG, it has my cutting board, glue, uh, watercolors, random stuff. Whew, so that is that. I'm coming back out the closet waving at you again. Oh, I don't know if I missed you. That is my room overall. I'll say goodbye while we're at this wall. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if there's anything I didn't give enough detail on, let me know and I can give you more detail. Um, let me know if you want to see my wedding album. Let me know if I should close my window because it's raining and my coloring books are next to it. Ah! There's my feet. <laughs> hey guys. Okay, yeah, that is that. Sorry I just spun a whole bunch at the end. But <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you again soon. Bye.